Hey internet, I am that shrewd and knavish sprite called Robin Goodfellow, and this is my 400 followers video. I was gonna record this on YouTube, but for some reason my internet isn't working right now, so I'm doing it in iMovie because I literally do not have a better video editing service than this. Um, also I just found my pen case under a pile of blankets, so you can tell how organized I've been. But I have 405 followers on Tumblr, so I decided to do a video in honor of that. Thank you so much everybody who follows me. Um, I hardly ever do any of my own content and even when I promise new content I hardly ever pr provide it. But somehow you all follow me so hey thank you. I really appreciate it and y'all are awesome and Tumblr is amazing and a great resource and I have grown so much as a person since starting to use it. Um, although not all of that is because of Tumblr so hey. Um, I didn't receive any questions despite soliciting them. Um, the only thing was uh, Queer Sherlockian said, where is the poetry? I have a great need. So I'm going to take this opportunity to inaugurate um, what I'm going to call Puck's Poetry Minute or possibly Robin's Recitation Rotation? No. Basically, I'm going to occasionally without making any promises as to dates or times, going to recite poetry um, that I have memorized because I love memorizing poetry and I love reciting it and I can't always find an audience um, because that's not really a thing that people are interested in. But if people are interested in that, they will find me and YouTube is a thing. So hey. Uh, two updates about my life. Um, first off, I have an awesome new binder. It is a tank top, um, but it's got a binder sewn into the chest area, and as you can see, it has awesome powers of smoosh, despite just being a shirt like any other shirt with an awesome cottony texture. Um, it's amazing. I got it on eBay. Um, all four cheekbones, actually, is the one who... Um, suggested it to me and I will post the link um, in the description below um, so that if you want a binder that you can wear just as outside clothing uh, when the weather is warm <laughs> you can do that um, and this looks like a you know like a regular undershirt if you wear it under your clothes as well so that's awesome also um, the other really big update about my life is that I am in the process of legally changing my name I have a court date set for Monday the 7th of October at 11 a.m. and if everything goes well my legal name will indeed be Robin Goodfellow and I am very excited about this um, although of course it will lead to super huge amounts of hassles when I have to legally change everything else where my name appears but that is a price I'm willing to pay um, for having a name that reflects my identity um, without further ado um, I will inaugurate the Puck's Poetry Recitation Minute Extravaganza thing with um, an oldie but a goodie. Um, one of the first poems I memorized after starting high school, Algernon Charles Swinburne's The Garden of Proserpine, the text of which I will also link to down below. Here, where the world is quiet, here, where all trouble seems, dead winds and spent waves riot in doubtful dreams of dreams. I watch the greenfield growing, for reaping folk and sowing, for harvest time and mowing, a sleepy world of streams. I'm tired of tears and laughter, and men who laugh and weep, of what may come hereafter, for what men sow to reap. I'm weary of days and hours, blown buds of barren flowers, desires and dreams and powers and everything but sleep. Here life has death for neighbor, and far from eye or ear, wan waves and wet winds labor, weak ships and spirits steer. They drive adrift and whither they wot not who make thither, but no such winds blow hither, and no such things grow here. No growth of moor or coppice, no heather flower nor vine, but bloomless buds of poppies, green grapes of proserpine. Pale beds of blowing rushes where no leaf blooms or blushes, save this whereof she crushes for dead men deadly wine. 
Pale without name or number, in fruitless fields of corn, they bow themselves in slumber all night till light is born. And like a soul belated in hell and heaven unmated, by cloud and mist abated, comes out of darkness morn. The one were strong as seven, he too with death shall dwell, not wake with wings in heaven, nor weep for pains in hell. Though one were fair as roses, his beauty clouds and closes. And while well the lover poses, in the end, it is not well. Pale beyond porch and portal, crowned with calm leaves she stands, who gathers all things mortal in cold, immortal hands. Her languid lips are sweeter than loves who fears to greet her, to men that mix and meet her from many times and lands. She waits for each and other, she waits for all men born, forgets the earth her mother, the life of fruits and corn. And spring and seed and swallow take wing for her and follow, where summer song rings hollow and flowers are put to scorn. There go the loves that wither, the old loves with wearier wings, and all dead years draw thither, and all disastrous things. Dead dreams of days forsaken, blind buds that snows have shaken, pale leaves that winds have taken, red strays of ruined springs. We are not sure of sorrow, and joy was never sure. Today may die tomorrow, time stoops to no man's door. And love, grown faint and fretful with lips but half regretful, sighs, and with eyes forgetful, weeps that no loves endure. From too much love of living, from hope and fear set free, we thank with brief thanksgiving whatever gods may be, that no life lives forever, that dead men rise up never, that even the weariest river Wine somewhere safe to see. Then star nor sun shall waken, nor any change of light, nor sound of waters shaken, nor any sound or sight, not wintry leaves nor vernal, nor days, nor things diurnal, only the sleep eternal in an eternal night. That was The Garden of Proserpine by Algernon Charles Swinburne, recited by Robin Goodfellow. Um, I still have no internet because my housemate seems to have put his bookshelf on the cable. Um, so I will upload this whenever internet comes back or I end up in a place with Wi-Fi. Um, till then. See you on the internet. I'm the Leaky Pen, Robin Goodfellow, Puck, signing out.